So today we're going to make a hydraulic arm. You're going to need a bowl of water, an empty bowl, two vinyl tubes, about 10 small rubber bands, the hand model we made in the previous activity, a large clothespin, and a small clothespin, three syringes, and five craft spoons, and a sharpie. So the first thing we're going to do is take the craft spoons and label them one through five. So these are already labeled, so we just got to put them in order. Uh, right. Now we're going to take two of our bands and tie them twice around two and three. Alright, so now we have two and three. And now we're going to put them all together except for five. So one through four, pile them on top of each other in numerical order. So one, two, three, and four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach them all together with a small rubber band. We're going to go around there four times on this end, on the skinniest end. So now it should look kind of like fingers. You see we got some little fingers here. And now we're going to attach this to our long or large clothes pin. So you're going to attach it to this end right here, not the claw end, but this end right here. With a small rubber band. And twice should do it. There we go. Now we want it at a 45 degree angle. So kind of angle it a little bit like that. And then we're going to make kind of an X shape with it. Just to keep it at that angle that we want it at. And this should keep it at that 45 degree angle like that. So now we're going to take five and we're going to attach it to this end. And we want it to also be at an angle at a 45 degree angle. So go ahead and do that. And then do the same thing as we did before. Secure it at the 45 degree angle. You want it to stay at that angle. So now we got some fingers here and our little thumb here. So now we're going to take our model that we made earlier. And we're going to take the model and we're going to stick the radius and the ulna in the little, the little mouth of the large clothespin like this. Just going to kind of wedge them in there. So this way what we have is the humerus right here and here's the radius and the ulna and here is the bones in your hand. So now we're going to put this whole guy aside. And we're going to take one of our syringes, doesn't matter, whichever one you want. And we're going to wrap a rubber band around the top of it 10 times on the top here where the plunger is. So we're going to wrap it 10 times. So now we have it wrapped around the plunger here 10 times. Now we're going to connect this syringe to our thumb. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to attach this end right here to the thumb. Okay, and then we're going to kind of open it up a little bit here so that we can sort of wedge it in so that the plunger doesn't open. We want it to stay just as plunged as it is right now. And then we're going to rubber band this end to the elbow here. All right, so now we should have two syringes attached to our hand right now. We've got two of them. Now we're going to take this small clothespin and we're going to put it on the thumb and make sort of a, a hook like that. So now we got to get out the water. So we're going to put all this aside. We're going to get out our bowl of water and our empty bowl. 
going to take one of our syringes and one of our vinyl tubes. So now I have the vinyl tube here and we're going to take the syringe and attach it to the vinyl tube. Alright, so now we have it attached to the vinyl tube. We're going to put the tube in the water and then you're going to pull the plunger on the syringe up. Now the tube's not going to fill totally with water, there's still going to be air left in it and that is perfectly okay. So now we're going to put the tube in the empty bowl and I want you to pull out the syringe and just let the water kind of come out. Now leaving that in the bowl to, to stop the dripping, put the syringe in the bowl full of water and then we're going to pull the plunger up again, filling the syringe with water like this. And now we're going to attach it back once more to the vinyl tube. So then we're going to put that aside and we're going to do it once again with the other syringe and the other vinyl tube. So you start, put the syringe, <clears throat> and you put the syringe in the vinyl tube, and then you put the vinyl tube in the water, and then you're going to you're going to pull up on the syringe, the vinyl tube won't fill all the way. Put the vinyl tube in the drip cup. Let it all kind of drip out, and let it leak out. And then you're going to take the syringe, put it in the water, and pull up, fill up the syringe with water, and then reattach it once more. Alright, so those are both done, so we can put these two aside. So now we're going to attach one tube to one syringe. We've got this syringe right here. Attach it nice and tight. And then you're going to attach the other tube to the other syringe. And make sure they're both in pretty tight. So now you have a full hydraulic arm, so let's watch it in action. So now if I plunge down on this one, you can see the humerus is moving. So now we have our thumb moving. There you go. And that's how to make a hydraulic arm. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thank you so much.